Meantime, after a tumultuous week for the Pentagon, with General Stanley McChrystal being relieved of his duties, tonight America's top military officer, Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Admiral Mike Mullen, has traveled to Afghanistan where he met with Afghan President Karzai. Mullen reassured Karzai that the ouster of General McChrystal for those comments in Rolling Stone will not change the course of the strategy. The meeting comes amid word that six coalition troops were killed today. That's 35 in the last week, making this one of the deadliest weeks of the war. And there are new questions tonight in Afghanistan over American taxpayer money and whether some of that money is landing in the hands of the Taliban. Huge convoys with supplies for U.S. troops there have to travel through dangerous parts of that country. And who gets paid to protect those convoys? That's what Congress is now asking, and so is our Nick Schifrin in Afghanistan tonight. Every bullet these soldiers fire, every sandbag they place, every soda they drink is trucked into Afghanistan on some of the world's most dangerous highways. The Taliban, road bandits and local militias attack convoys full of everything the U.S. needs to fight the war. These are the men who protect the trucks. They're not American. They're not the Afghan army. They're a mercenary force hired by the trucking companies. There's no ideology involved for them. This is all about taking uh, the money that's brought over there from the taxpayer and making money off of it. U.S. officials believe they are also paying off the Taliban in order to try and guarantee the truck's security. This trucking executive spoke to us on the condition we hide his identity. Does your company knowingly pay militants in order to guarantee the truck's safety? Um, our firm uh, knowingly pays thieves um, to ensure the safety of our cargo. The U.S. needs to send trucks through here, but the trucking companies have to spend $3,000 per truck just to get them through here. That's money that goes straight to the Taliban. This is Ruhula, the most powerful security commander in Afghanistan. U.S. officials accuse him of collecting money from the trucking companies and paying a percentage directly to the Taliban. It's an accusation he denies. The congressional report found the military has, for years, known millions of dollars go to fund its enemy. The trucking executive says he told the military what was going on. What's their response? There's nothing we can do. The military says the delivery of every item troops need to fight the war must be guaranteed, no matter what. But critics say as long as the practice of funding the enemy continues, the war will never end. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, Kandahar.